Good afternoon, people of YouTube. Well, finally, back out on the bike. Woo! And we've come, what are we? About a bit over 100 k's down the road from home. Um, and we're just coming into a little town called Bridgetown. Uh, where are we heading tonight? Just out of Manjima. Uh We've got a booking at Fonty's Pool Caravan Park. Uh, and we only booked there because the D4 sites were going to cost us $30 a night. Where for $35 we can have hot showers and all the facilities of a campground. So let's do that. And we're going to stay there for two nights. Two nights, yep. Just base ourselves there and going to go and do a, a big loop ride tomorrow. So it'll take us further south. Find almost somewhere down to for the lunch. Coast. Um, and then back to back to camp tomorrow night. Yep. And then we've got a, a route all planned as well for Sunday to take us home again. Yeah. Different road to get home on Sunday. Just uh, tonight finished work so we've pretty much just done a highway run but uh, Bridgetown's a bit busy because we always seem to time it when there's something on this is the Bridgetown Blues weekend so there's a few people that a few more people than you would normally see music festival yeah yes we get to care try out that new camp gear yes uh, a couple of new camp chairs, a couple of new camp beds. New sleeping bags. Yep. Lighter weight sleeping bags and liners, so hopefully we'll be warm enough. Yeah, it's, uh, only, it's only supposed to get down to about 8 or 9 degrees overnight. Uh, oh. I think tomorrow's temp's about 22, 23 max. Perfect. Uh, and the same for Sunday. So it should be pretty nice. Yeah. So we'll carry on down the road. And uh, See you I'll put the camp. camera back on when we uh, when we head into Fonty's Pool. Nice little spot down there. Yep. So uh, we'll see you down the road. There we are. Just turned in the driveway to Fonty's Pool. Caravan Park and chalets. It's got got a, very, a very nice swimming area. Yeah, yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to pull up a non-powered site for a couple of nights. Looks pretty good. Do, do, do. No, Office. office is right here. Pinned on the wall there. One of these has got our name on it. Oh, there you go. Directions to our site. Perfect. Got one in the sun or? I think so. Yeah? Yeah. Just plonk down here somewhere? Yep. Get a bit of shade by that tree, I suppose, maybe? Yeah. Well, we've chosen a spot. We're in the sun. There's a little bit of breeze coming through. Thought we'd uh, unpack, get this tent set up. Doing? Putting the table together. How's the drink? Haven't opened it yet. No. 
But we have our awesome new chairs. They're good, comfy. Yeah, we have the tent and all the new bedding is all set up. Note to self, invest in pump. <laughs> Three and a half minutes with the little bag that bag. came with our other, like the pump bag. Six and a half minutes with the foot pump, not a fan. But uh, life is good. Beautiful little view tucked here against the edge of the property. Pretty good, eh? It'll do for a couple of days. Yeah. Well, we won't be here much tomorrow. Nope. Go riding. Fonty's pool. Nice little spot, eh? Very nice. Morning, good morning. We've left our, uh, left our little camp set up for the day. Yeah, we just come, we're just, just leaving Manjum up now, just been got a bit of fuel. And uh, gonna head out on this, this route that I've sort of got planned for today. Two stages, we're gonna go from here a big loop out uh, sort of north of Manji for a start and then head all the way south down almost down to the coast uh, and then cut back across to Northcliff. We're gonna have, have, uh, have a pub lunch in Northcliff and then from there we're gonna shoot back across to Pemberton and Beetle Up and uh, then back round into Manjima. So about 230, 240Ks for the day. Nothing too strenuous, just a nice, nice ride out, eh? Yeah, just definitely need to sell all the emus. <laughs> I'm so easily distracted. <laughs> uh, yeah, just nice to be back on the bike. Well out of practice, getting ready this morning. Couldn't, <laughs> couldn't find things, don't have a rhythm for where stuff is overnight. But uh, here we are, back on the road and yeah, it should be a good day. Perfect so, riding conditions. Yeah, perfect riding conditions. Weather is 16 degrees. It's what, quarter past nine? Yep. So, yeah, it doesn't get much better. Perfect solo conditions because if you can see in that mirror, <laughs> the dust is atrocious. It's dry enough here now. But, uh, yeah, if you were riding in a group, you'd be well spread out. Yeah. And we, we're probably running out of weekends where it is cool enough like this. Hopefully we'll get a couple more in before the summer kicks in properly and it gets too hot. Yeah. So, um, initial initial reviews of, of our camp gear. Oh yeah. Oh god. There's the there's the evidence there's of the, the dust. dust. Yeah. Um, camp chairs, amazing. Ten out of ten. Love, yeah. love, love, love. A uh, little table. Um, we're able to use it to make coffee at our little campsite this morning. Um, nice to have somewhere to pop the cooker and boil the kettle and stuff. The mattresses, um, too much air in them. I think, yeah, that was my problem, just too much air in it for yeah, the first time. It was overinflated, yep. but that'll be an adjustment working out how full to have them. Um, but, oh, no noise. I was surprised. I thought they'd be a lot more noisy than they are. And uh, they don't move moving. Un they don't move underneath you. Every time you move or roll over or anything, they don't move. Yeah. Uh, and I think probably having them uh, buttoned together yep. is a big plus to that because obviously, you know, we only, one of us moves at a time sort of thing, so. Yep. Um, yeah. Yeah. And the, the new sleeping bags and the liners are an absolute winner. Um, I actually slept way warmer than in our other ones that is, are a much heavier weight. So, yeah, um, really happy with those changes. Who doesn't like an old church out in the bush? Yeah. And look at the um, the driveway entry beside it. Uh, can I drive right round it? Uh, no. Maybe? Well, no. Oh, yeah, maybe. I'll see yeah, if, if I you can, go up, I'll see if I can do a loop. You'll be able to come around the front of it. There. 
you can't get up onto the ground. Oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll get right around the back here. Yeah, and then you can come right around the front, like literally follow the fence around it. It's a beautiful yeah. fence. Yeah, she's oh. a rigid, rigid edge old post. Yep, post and rail. Look at the um, the way that they're like mitered and fitted through the posts. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Am I getting you in the photo? Oh, it's St Thomas Church, Dingup. Built in 1895. 1895, wow, there yep. you go. Yep, um, how cool are the windows in it? Yeah, very nice, eh? Still all lead light and stuff. Yeah. Very pretty. I don't, yeah, we haven't been down here, have we? No, I've not ever been down through in here before. No, this so is... Good. Oh, here we go. We're going to turn off this nice sealed road. Been a lovely little stretch. It's actually not been too bad for seal. Frosty. <laughs> or more like frosty. Looks loose, that's what it looks like. <laughs> I think this should sneak us back through to the Muir Highway. Oh, right, yep. Yeah, because yeah, we cut off the Muir and have come north, yeah? Correct, and yeah. And then across, and then basically sort of followed it, but north of it. Cool. Yeah. Nice spot here, just on the river. I'm not sure what this river actually is. The Warren River, I would the say. The Warren, probably. We're on yeah. um, D side coast. Seaside Coast Road, yeah, just come off the Muir Highway, turned onto it, so beautiful um, spot, eh? Yeah. Hey, I knew that was in here. Oh! Oh, that's the um, fire tower. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. I actually knew this was here. I'm pretty sure we've stopped at this one I think, before. I think we have, actually, now that yeah. you say that. I am not climbing it. I just want to put that out there right now. Uh, I didn't have the camera on, but we've just seen a big, a big boar standing oh. in the middle of the road. Even quite quite good sized tusks on him yeah, too. Yeah, couple, couple of tusks sticking out the front end of him. He panicked. Yeah, there's no shortage of wild pigs around here. I honestly was probably expecting to see emus before I saw a pig. <laughs> Especially on this road too, because it's a yes. pretty main. It's a pretty main road. Yep. And like we're literally, here's the highway again. Yes. So this is us D side coast road crossing the southwest highway. There we go, what have we got here? Snake Gully Lookout. A little walkway. Nice. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Snake Gully Lookout. I'm not sure, really sure where the name comes from. I have to read the sign back there. I don't know that it even said there, it just said about the birds that you can see yeah. here. Uh, Why they call it Snake Gully, don't know. But it's pretty cool. Very nice. We're up. We have climbed up a little bit. We did come across as we came onto the road, a little brook, I guess, and we've climbed up quite sharply. But the trees are still so huge. All the way up there. Uh, loads of birds. Little 
wrens and fantails and parrots. And a really good little walkway to get down here. Easy walk, easy parking. Just what bike riders like, hey? That's it, it's us. Well, that was Snake Gully Lookout. Nice little spot. No, no reason given for the name, but apparently not likely to see snakes there, so that's always good to know. Most likely to see birds. Yep. Big tree grove. Well, there's a little um, walkway on to. Oh, they reckon these trees are around 300 years old and 85 metres in height. Yeah, pretty big. Um, and they're at the point now where they're kind of declining due to their age, so starting to lose leaves, uh, fungi starts to attack them. They're just old. <laughs> <laughs> they are massive though and the other thing it says is like you notice how far apart the big ones are yes um, and that's all to do with the size of the canopy blocking out the light underneath so it doesn't really allow like they need that space as they get bigger yeah and yeah. it blocks out things growing on the, in their undergrowth so yeah so we come across into the we're in the bottom section of d-side <laughs> Coast, Coast Road, Road. and uh, <laughs> the sign said it was suitable for four-wheel drive vehicles only. Uh, Not disappoint. And yeah, no, she's definitely a little more off-road than than previous. A couple of good potholes and culverts across the road that are quite sizable. This last section's been quite interesting as we get closer to the coast. It's been a bit more almost like marshy areas with quite a good water table obvious um, so it could get quite wet in winter yeah even some of those low-lying areas of the road I think yep. if they get enough rain they'd probably get water across them I reckon yeah there's a trap there's no sign here anywhere Ooh. just the end of the road just the end of the road's good road's done yep Oh, look, we have a sign to Northcliffe though now. Sign to Northcliffe. We're almost out of the bush. A little bit of farmland just uh, back on that end uh, there. I saw plantation sign on the other side of us. So there's actually um, gum plantation tucked in there. There's the Jurassic Park trees. I always yeah. think of Jurassic Park when I look at them. Yeah. You know, the, the farmland against the stands of trees like that. Yeah. As long as we don't come across any velociraptors, I'm good. Uh, big, what's the big tall with Tyrannosaurus Rex or something? Just meandering through the trees, that'd be pretty maybe, cool. Maybe a Diplodocus. Like yeah, big, yeah, yeah, yeah. Something that's, you know, not really too harmful. Yeah, no, just Not the, likely to eat you. Yeah, just a couple of... type dinosaurs that would be okay uh, there we go that'll be the end of the dirt for the first uh, first part of the day getting close to civilization I guess mm. if you can call it that there's a pub I love the painting on the wall the IGA up here. Yeah, yeah. It's really stunning. Where the heck is Northcliffe? <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, this place. Naughty oh. Noodle Bar. Little cafe. Yeah. Parking out the front. Can't go wrong. I actually want some shade. Oh! Hello, Lewis. Sure. <laughs> We're here. Well, that was Northcliffe. That is Northcliffe. What an afternoon, though. Look at it. Glorious weather. Yeah. Yep. It's uh, come up to oh, 20 degrees. It's just Perfect. nice. Yep. Uh, My yep. stomach is stuffed full of amazing food. Really good pizza. Uh, yeah. Meat lovers pizza and a bowl of chips can't go wrong. Yeah, um, a couple of real, cold drinks. Of, yes, of course. Um, no, can't go past the Northcliffe pub for hospitality and food. And now we are back on the road. Yes, heading towards Pemberton. Ish, yeah. Nice piece of road along here too. Yes. Again, all these tall timber trees. Uh, yeah, beautiful spot. There's a couple of patches up towards Pemberton that are just stunning. So, looking forward to this afternoon actually. Had to turn the camera back on because the road and the scenery is just way too nice. The trees are awesome through here. And the road's um, got a few, the, actually got a few bends in it. The road's a bit twisty, so it's, yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Sun's out, you can't really ask for much more. Not really. Remember to look at the GPS so we don't miss the turn. I was going to say, do you know where we're going? <laughs> you've, got the, you've got the track marked? Yeah, yeah. It won't be too long and we'll be back on a bit of um, dirt road again, yeah? Shouldn't be too far, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Woo -hoo, we're going in this one. <laughs> It's alright, we've got brakes. We'll be okay. I noticed. <laughs> Child. Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> Quick battery change and there's... Someone's a getting new, a new bridge. Somebody's getting a new bridge. <laughs> Oh, I'm guessing, look. It's, I'm we're, guessing we're, it's down here. We're totally taking a picture of the old bridge, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. It's an old rail bridge there. Look at that. Pretty nice, isn't it? That's so cool. Yep. more stunning roads, great gravel off-roads. This road's in really good condition. Mm. 
there was a sign at the start of it that said traffic hazard ahead, but uh, haven't um, seen anything yet. No hazards on this road. I think it's a ploy for motorcyclists just to make them go slower. <laughs> that there That's is the, cas the Cascades. Yeah. We're not going to go down and do the um, the Cary Forest Explorer today or the Scenic Drive. We've, We've been done it a, few times a couple before. of times. Yeah. And it's a one-way loop, isn't it? You have to go in yes, here. Yes, you have to go in from here. We've already passed where you exit it, so. Yep. You good? Yep. Ideally, you'd be travelling in the other direction. Yes. And you could come to here and go down, do the scenic route, and carry on. Yeah. But that's not the way we are doing it today. Nope. <laughs> A couple of little boutique cottages out here that you could come out and stay at. Well, that had a um, caravan park up at it too. Oh, yes, yeah, so I probably got hit camps, I suppose. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We want to go down there. <laughs> <laughs> You've been doing this long? Yeah, a little. <sighs> what, overshooting roads? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty regularly. <laughs> Just enjoying the ride. overshot that one too. <laughs> and I was looking out, I knew the road was coming up. <laughs> oh well, there we go. More of what we're generally looking for. Yeah. Like you say, they're pretty hard to find down around here though. Yeah, they, they generally will be like just a logging road and they stop, like a, yeah. they yeah. go in, do a roundabout and then that's it, there's nothing. Nothing. Or they just, yeah, they just peter out and there's, they go nowhere. So we're now, where are we, sort of just north of Beardalup Falls. Yes, yeah. And Knuckles Wish. Oh, Emu! Emu. Oh, he's coming for the road. Where you he's... going, mate? <laughs> No. You'll be right. Stay there. Stay don't there. Don't, 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 yeah. You'll be okay. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, stupid <laughs> birds. Scary. Very cool. All right. Anyway. Yes. Yeah. So north of north of Pem uh, Pemberton. Yes. And north of Beetle Up Falls, and we're just going to wind our way, sort of uh, east, I suppose, aren't we? Yep. Back across to Manjum up now. Yep. A few, um, few bush roads. And come in the back of Manjum up into a place called uh, Dean Mill. Yes, Dean Mill. So we'll come in down through there and then back into Manji. Probably go and get some a couple of light refreshments for this evening's festivities. Yep. Which Basically, you and me having dinner. <laughs> and Woo! Party! <laughs> uh, and uh, that'll be it till tomorrow. Yeah. Got a, a reasonable day tomorrow as well, not just the normal track up the highway. So, no, yeah, got, nothing got too a crazy. A couple of hundred k's of on and off road to get us yep. back. We're actually going to go from uh, Manjum up to Collie tomorrow. Hmm. No, they're pretty um, pretty specky, all right, aren't they? Yeah. And this time of day as well, the sun, the, like the gum oil and the leaves. And yeah. This time of day, this time, this time of year, I suppose. Yeah. You know, like I think we said earlier, we've probably got maybe another couple of weeks. Yep. We might push three weeks, um, and before the weather's just going to start getting too hot, mm. and uh, we'll we'll end up with fire bans and all sorts of stuff going on again. So. It's a bit, a bit hard to go for a, a ride when all that's going on. Yep. Another night camping tonight. A little bit more ear out of the old ear mattress tonight. Yep. Test number two.
actually really nice road, eh? <laughs> Not really much that you would stop to look at, but just a great ride. That's great what it's ride. all about. Yep. Ah, black cockies. Good with the twists and turns and a bit of elevation and stuff as well, eh? Yeah. It's nice. Just enough that you have to pay attention. Yeah. I do love it when you do the climbs back up looking into the valley because you're up with the treetops yeah, and yeah. the canopy but you're looking down through all the trees. It's very cool. Coming along the side of a um, reasonably fresh burn. Yeah, freshly burnt block of bush here. Probably a prescribed burn, so they come in and, and do it in a controlled manner, or they try to do it in a controlled manner. Still smoking there. Yeah. Still smouldering. There we are, just coming into the back end of Dean Mill. Mm, they've got a, quite a good workers' club. Oh, the workers' club's just back there, just eh? Just there, yeah. yeah. Oh, look at the old water system. Tank stands and... Tank stands yeah. and, and just old mill houses. Just yes. A, yeah. I love mill houses. Very cool old place. Yeah. So there is a walk trail from Manjab up out to Dean Mill as well. Yes, yeah. Uh, about 7Ks. That's very squirrely. Oh, look at the paddock of swans. <laughs> Dams through here. Yeah, nice, aren't they? 